welcome to a new video now let me set the scene social play f1 2021 lobbies and as you can see <laughs> I'm trying to avoid a massive crash here and uh, you know it's a little bit of fun you know just trying to get the uh, platinum trophy on this game just trying to get out of the way to be honest um, there's a person in the other Mercedes and in the last lobby I beat them by one tenth because they had eight seconds worth of penalties and I ended up winning the race um, I thought oh, okay cool I've, I've just won you know I was pushing to win but I thought ah, nothing of it anyway there's a safety car in Abu Dhabi um, standard um, social play if you haven't played already and I was just, as you can see, um, enjoying myself, just checking my tyres, checking the temps because we're about to go racing. And um, I've kind of reacted a little bit late, but also I'm kind of being a bit sort of cautious. <laughs> Nearly re-ended Salad there, who actually ends up uh, winning the next race. Um, but we'll go into that in much more detail. Um, this is luck here. Ah, uh, just... You know, sometimes you just got to get lucky with things. And I'm like, oh, okay, nice. And I'm like, coming up to my teammate now. You'd think when you're following your teammate, <laughs> they're going to give you, you know, a bit of respect. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll let you watch and uh, adjudicate yourself. Oh. Don't we love a good old brake check on the straight? I was a little bit frustrated, but it was fine. It was fine. Um, I was on to win that race. Um, I pitted the softs, but it's fine. We move on. Move on to the next race. Um, I just highlight the player there, and it's uh, Jeddah, which I haven't actually raced at before. So I kind of just. Every time I do a social play, I always underfuel the car, no matter what. Underfuel, because it's going to be a safety car, and I don't want to end on, uh, you know, 20 laps plus fuel. Now, you may have noticed that I've qualified P11, and my teammate, who is P13, so he brake checked me, so I'm going to give him the same treatment off the start line. Um... It doesn't work out how I wanted it though, to be honest, but I guess at low speeds, it won't. Here we go. Oof. Then, unfortunately, I did hit somebody else. I did feel a bit sorry for Chicken F1 Stir, but, you know, they carried on anyway. Um, lovely little safety car. <laughs> um, that, that poor chappy there, I don't know how he's ended up sideways on a straight, but it is what it is. And, um,. Yeah, I thought, oh, okay, fine. We're even now. I thought, do you know what? Fair enough. He took me out. I've given him a broken wing. I've got a broken wing as well. We'll, we'll move on. Um, yeah. Um, and then what ensues is just absolute mayhem, I think, honestly. I've never been in a race where <laughs> I've had to just actually like judge my driving and make sure that I can finish this race this race means absolutely nothing you don't get any XP because this um, season pass is over um, you, you know it's just I guess maybe a bit of pride um, I was quite you know proud of myself for tr staying calm even though yeah, admittedly yeah, I've brake checked him but at the same time <sighs> you know but honours even, you know, it's um, give and take. Um, it was, seems like a good driver. He seemed like he could keep up, but yeah. Um, but yeah, as we're under safety car at the moment, um, I'm just going to wait for the next scene to pop up. So as you can see, um, I'm just about to go into the pit lane, and my teammate is also pitting, obviously for his new front wing. So I'm definitely benefiting worse here because um, 
Oh, well, someone's managed to crash in the pits. I don't know. Yeah, I'm benefiting worse here because obviously I've got to wait for his wing change. So it's almost like a 20 second penalty for me anyway. Yes, it's under safety car. Yes, I will catch up. Um, wow, well, that's what we think anyway. Um, but yeah. So, as you can notice on the mini map, the light blue car has suddenly stopped, and I'm like, oh, okay, I see what he's doing here. And as you can see, He's just waiting for everyone to pass because I'm coming up to him. He can see that himself, obviously. I'm still thinking whatever, but also no, I know what's happening here. I'm not stupid, you know. I've played enough online games. There you go. There he is. He's in front of me now. And he's managed to hit the wall. I don't know how he's done that. I'll be honest, I guess cold tires. And now, obviously, in normal circumstances, uh, you would join up to the back of the safety car. But... <laughs> this isn't normal circumstances now i feel a bit sorry for the guy behind so i just i completely stopped because he's gonna have a legal overtake so i know if i stop he can legally pass me um according to the f1 2021 rules and i my teammate uh, went off the track to let him go past which also allows um cars to overtake um and this this is just i don't know <laughs> I just never, never experienced this before. Someone really, really, really wanted to crash into me, really wanted me out the race, really, really, you know, put a lot of effort and time into their evening to try and, you know, ruin my evening. But I actually enjoyed it. Um, I hope, I hope they've enjoyed it too. You know, a bit of fun. That, you know, I know, I know it's frustrating to come across people like this, but it's, you know, what? It's just a game at the end of the day. Um. I'm hoping there's no hard feelings to the other driver here. Um, we're just going to sit and watch this, I guess, this uh, battle ensue. Now, my thought process here is if I pit, as you can see, um, I was going to try and trick him into the pits, but he didn't go in ahead of me. Um, so I thought, do you know what, actually I'll pit. I'll pit onto the softs because I could go to the end of the race anyway. So if I get past him... Um, I'm on a nice set of tyres anyway, I can catch up. My worry here though is a safety car is about to reach, well, sector 2 and we are on the start finish straight. So we are about a minute behind the safety car and we should be up behind it. Um, I'm not worried about getting lapped, I'm just worried about trying not to DNF at this point. You may have noticed though that, oh look, there he is, he stopped and waited for me, it was very nice. Um, I think he wanted to, you know, go side by side um, for the majority of the race. Um, I didn't want to take a chance, though. Um, I know I was trying to think of ways to get past him, but obviously, as a Jeddah, it's uh, there's only walls here, um, and then so to go in this lap. So I thought if I go off track, I might be able to like undertake him, but he just put his foot down and I couldn't get past see again I try the same technique again try and give it a go you know just trying to keep tire temps up because if I drop my tire temps and I try and go for a move off track I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna you know then I'll then I'll probably be out the race myself um, as you can see we're not flat out here the field are just about to start you know the lap four well, we're still at lap three at sector two, a minute behind everyone else. So we're spending our time here. I'm just catching up. I know he's going to break check me or he's going to turn me into the wall. Um, uh, I think quite fortunately here, we end up having another safety car. Um, 
which helps me. And then I noticed, under yellow flags, if he goes too slowly, he'll go invisible. And I was like, oh, I could use that to my advantage. But at the same time, I need a yellow flag, right? So, hopefully there's a safety car. There's a caution. The green flags. Getting frustrated. It's fine. Actually, at this point, I should have uh, underfueled my car, and then he went invisible again there for a second. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to get this guy. I just don't know when I'm going to get him. And I'm thinking, oh, I could trick him into the pits. No, he's too smart for that. And then I thought, oh, I'll go last minute, dive. No, it didn't work. And then the yellow flags came out. <sighs> I went for it, and then, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that avoidance. I just knew it. And then, look, he caused the only yellow flags. Then the safety car came out. Oh, this is getting perfect for me. I, I've got a Delta, and I don't want to get a drive-through penalty, really. So he stops. I'm like, okay, we're playing the stop game. Again, I notice he's ghosting, so I'm like, right, there's got to be a point when he doesn't switch on. I need. I just need to time it perfectly. And I will get it. 100% will get it. I thought, oh, maybe I'll go off track again. Maybe I'll stop. Part of me was like, maybe I should just go for the road to take under the safety car. Here we go. There he's gone for. Oh, see, am I gonna do it or not? There you go. I found my. I found it. I found the point. Now, now my way worry is here. I've got ahead of him. Now, fortunately, there's no delta, so I can flat out. He's got a broken wing, so I'm actually gonna gain time here however there are not many corners left here it's a bit frustrating so as you can see he's still able to follow me quite closely um, he's two seconds behind that's not enough time to um, outbreak me into a corner I guess uh, then the Delta comes on and I'm like oh no so I put my foot down I'm like right fine I might have to take a drive through here Notice his time's dropping, dropping, dropping. I was like, no, I'm going to have to slam on the brakes here. Then he flat out. I realise he doesn't want to drive through. But he doesn't care about a drive through penalty. I'm like, right, okay, I've got to take a hit here. So I've hit the brakes. He's rear-ending me. It's still in the race. And look where we are again. He's back in front of me. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. <laughs> and the field are about to lap us. Honestly, we're getting so close to they're going to lap us. I've ended up with a 5 second penalty. He's got 10. And I'm trying my best to try and get past him. And do the invisible trick again. And there we go. Another one. There you go. Now, I know he's got no front wing because he's rear-ending me. So this corner here, he cannot take at normal speed. So he tries, he tries to rear-end me. And look at that, he's out of the race, he's DNF because he's gone too fast. And yeah, I'm like, right, okay, I'll go back in the pits, put on the other set of soft tyres I started the race on, um, get rid of my five second penalty. And then, from this point onwards, it's trying to win the race. Now, as you can see, they are 1 minute 48 behind us. A current lap under the safety car is 2 minutes 6 seconds-ish, about 2 minutes. As you can see, the safety car has just gone past the start finish straight. I need to get out in front of that safety car before the second safety car line. And I put my foot down here. And look at that safety car right there. And as I come out, I've just got in front of him. I can't believe how close he was to taking my car apart. I don't, I've never seen the safety car be that close to a car before in my entire life. Now this lap is about getting as quickly back round to the pack as possible. Um, I'm put put my foot down, and then I realise I'm running out of fuel. I don't have enough to finish a race. I need to put it in lean. I'm not going to get lapped. That's my target here. I'm currently one minute 42 behind seventh place. So the safety car will be in the end of this lap just because of the way the game works. It doesn't matter if I don't catch up at the end because I'm technically a lapped car. Um, they just want me to get out of the way, essentially. Okay. 
slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. So as you can see, safety car is going to be coming in this lap. I'm one minute four behind. I've managed to catch up some time, but yeah, as we said, the safety car is in. Um, there's nothing I can really do about this at this point, but 56 seconds. When we get to the start finish straight, um, it'll be a true reflection of the gap between myself and the cars um, in seventh place. Now, uh, sixth place actually now because there was two DNFs. Um, fifth place is now pitting which is benefiting me massively um, but it looks like the gap is about 40 odd seconds um, there is only one car who is um, disconnected um, in the top six here and I think they're in fourth place currently um, Jerus SPT is um, obviously my first target they're on softs um, seemed like a good driver in the last race as well at Abu Dhabi so you know it's my work against me really to be honest so yes I do have the driving line on as well I you know I know some people don't use it but one I do not know this circuit and two what's wrong with a line <laughs> it helps <laughs> So as you can see, I'm setting purple lap, purple sectors for a purple lap. Um, I do end up doing another purple lap. Um, I utilise DRS later on, um, but that's a 132.5. Um, and yeah, we are now six seconds behind Jera um, and pushing our way forward. And I think Marcel is a AI car. So we should be catching them quite rapidly because they are set to 40, which is um, what the game automatically does for social play, experienced players. At this point, I notice a car is in the pits, and that I should be able to clear. It's going to be very, very tight though, because 
of the pit window here. Um, and I'm also only 3.7 seconds behind Jero now. Um, I keep getting purple sector 3s. Um, not sure how. Um, my ERS is very low, but I'm trying to, I'm just doing as quick quality laps as possible as I can. And I have managed to overtake sixth place, so now I'm now in the running. Finally caught up after being 47 seconds behind, like five laps ago. Um, in these lobbies, you never know who you're going to come up against. Um, sometimes you're against people who are three seconds a lap faster than you. Sometimes you're against people who literally bought the game yesterday. Um, so you can, you will never know, but you know, it's still fun, still a challenge, still enjoy it. So as you can see, we're 0.6 seconds behind um, Jera, so I'm going to be getting DRS, and there's three DRS straights on here. Um, he's gone a bit deep there. Um, I thought I was going to go for it, but I don't know what he's like. I'm going to use a DRS here. And I thought, you know what, if he puts me in the wall, he puts me in the wall, but fortunately he didn't. Um, here I thought he was going to outbreak me, so I tried to give him as much space as possible but also at the same time it is my corner and I'm gone um, use the rest of my ERS that I have left um, yeah I just, just guess he didn't get the traction out of that corner maybe his tyres are a bit older than mine um, and now we're after Marcel who like I said before I think is an AI car so the next car is Dodd Ima 3 or whatever his name is um, but I've only got two laps left, but he does have an eight second time penalty, so as long as I'm within eight seconds of him, should be good. Keep myself, keep the track clean, no penalties. Um, I think this is the um, purple lap, so we'll stay on board with this one. So close, I just couldn't get the last sector for some reason. How strange. But as you can see, we caught Marcel really rapidly, and that's yeah, that's just clarifies that he's the uh, AI car. 
Um, and then, yeah, we have managed to catch Dodma. Um, I think he's got wing damage. Um, Jeff lets me know in a minute once I pass Marcel. Um, So yeah, at this point, um, I'm 8.8 .8 behind. I want to know what's going on. Let Jeff speak. Gap to car in front is 9.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are seven laps old. The car ahead has some front wing damage, but it's not losing much pace yet. The time last lap was a... So as you can hear, it's the final lap of the race. They are doing 137s a lap, so they are essentially four to five seconds slower than me as you can see i've just gone under the eight second mark um at this point i just need to keep it clean i nearly get a warning now i'm not i'm surprised i didn't i don't know where the track limits are there they are set to strict um quite fortunate i guess um at this point i was just obviously still pushing there's no way i'm catching salad sauce like i said in the last race um yeah he had an accident in the first on that re safety car restart but you know dominated this race i guess a bit of fortune to him as well uh with my teammate being the best teammate i think i've ever worked with in my entire you know gaming f1 career um and yeah there you go he's uh won the race by a clear 24 seconds i was catching but i'm not gonna find 24 seconds that quickly considering they were a minute ahead of me um i would have caught him if i had like another five laps i reckon um and also dodma i'm gonna finish um three seconds ahead because of his eight second time penalty even if he had pitted and got rid of that five seconds that he received from i guess an infringement on the safety car he still had three seconds so it doesn't matter um I get driver of the day, of course, because I started in 11th and got all the way up to second. It's nice to see your name up there that everyone can see. And then standard podium. Nice and easy. I really, I actually really enjoyed this race, to be honest. Um, yeah, again, a little bit frustrating um, that, you know, you get toxic players, but you just have to deal with it because... You know, it's online. You're going to come up against people that are toxic, unfortunately. Um, but again, like I said, I hope they had a good time. I hope they enjoyed their evening. Um, I certainly did. I had a good time as well. Um, yeah, 23 seconds behind the leader. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I know it's a half an hour video, but hope you enjoyed. And catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.